about the cold brew tasting. And Marla, this actually would be perfect for you to try at your district office. Um, what it is, is it's literally just bringing a bag full of this size to your event. You're not bringing much more than this because all you're bringing is the coffee in water bottles because you've already pre-made them. You're bringing a clean carafe. Um, you're bringing citrus peelers that they can use as stir sticks or you can have spoons, whichever. These don't cost that much. I think it's actually cheaper to use citrus peelers than it is to go buy plastic spoons. Just saying. Can they hear me okay? Uh, that's what I'm asking. Oh, okay. Um, and then you need to find out from the person that's helping you get into the door, is there ice in this location? If there's not, you might need to bring a bowl full of ice, otherwise you would just bring a bowl. Does that make sense? So if you look at the TV, there's two examples of what that could look like. These are Amanda Lunds. She has done about four of them over the last, since Jubilee, she's done four to five of them. She has booked nine parties using this method. This method is a total appreciation method, meaning you're not going in there expecting to make sales. You're going in there to make sure that people know Tupperware is still around and offering them cold brew as a thank you for having them. So here's how it works. What you would have on your table is this good, better, best. You guys can just grab one. And a cold brew survey. You would want to make sure that everybody has a cold brew survey. The way you start it is by doing a Facebook <coughs> post. Hey, who works in an office that would enjoy some free cold brew coffee? Here you go, Bethany. Um, anybody who comments under it, you're not going to give them the details in a comment reply. You're going to start messaging them. And you're going to start asking them questions like, what kind of office do you have? Would you be okay? You could take a picture of this setup before you go back to your seats, or you can use one of Amanda's. She told me I can post this on our company page and say it's about this much space that I would need. This round table is about what you see in most coffee rooms, break rooms. So that's what you typically will see. Rarely you'll see an actual table. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, so, you message them, you figure out, you let them know it's about an hour's worth of time, because you're going to show up 15 minutes before it starts, and then, if you work in an office, you can't really all leave your desk at the same exact time, so people are going to come up in ones and twos, maybe three at most, over the next 45 minutes, and that's, if you tell that to the host, then that's what she'll tell the guests in the office. The idea is to yeah. just serve coffee in appreciation of whatever it is um, they do. And then, okay, and then yeah, as they are having the coffee, so you will get to be able to tell them the benefits of cold brew. That, and I've listed them on this sheet. And for those of you at home, I will be posting all of this information as well. So, they can't see the setup? No. So carefully tilt the iPad down. So There you go. Um, so you talk about this being less acidic because of it not being hot. That it actually has a life, it has a longer shelf life. So if you brew it concentrated, there's two levels. There is regular strength and concentrated. And if you always brew it concentrated, it will take up about a medium sized water bottle. And this will have the shelf life of about a week, which will save them a ton of time and a ton of money because if you go to Starbucks or Caribou, it's about $5 for a little glass of it. This is concentrated, so that means it's half and half. So if you have a half cup of coffee, you need a half cup of water or a half cup of milk or whatever to dilute it. You don't want to dilute it in here and leave it there because it will start to degrade faster. It's kind of like our fridge smarts. You put things in naked and dirty, same thing with the coffee. Does this make sense to everybody? So now you're showing them that they're saving time. They're saving the environment as well because of all the cups that they're not throwing out from the Starbucks. And these grounds can go into your garden and help fertilize your garden that much more. So now you're adding, there's really not a whole lot of waste. And because this is metal, you're not having to have garbage as well. Um, let me see here. And then, 
have them fill out the survey after they do their taste test. You can do a drawing if you want to for a tiny treasure, if you want to make sure that you get things back. But if you notice on the survey, it says, would you like to be added to my email newsletter? Would you like to be interested in a party? So this is your ability to call people back. With this, Amanda shared that she has nine parties booked in September because she did this right after Jubilee. She's gotten into places that she normally wouldn't be able to. She's going to the Attorney General in North Dakota's place of business. That never would happen. She's gone to the fire department, to the, um, to the police department, and now she's going to be able to talk to the first responders. Again, never would be able to happen all because of this. And people who didn't normally want to do parties, this is a simple party setup. Becky talked about it at our um, Mini Jubilee, how you would just demonstrate the gig kit, but honestly, if you didn't want to go that far, you could just demonstrate this. One thing I did want to note is Becky or Amanda has the Modular Mate Rectangle 2 and the great master so you can show that the great master can not only grate cheese but it can grind up your coffee and then you put the coffee into the modular mate whether or not you grind it up on the spot i wouldn't do that because it's too messy but you can show them how much it keeps the odors in by just bringing it that way and now you're cross promoting without having to bring a whole lot of stuff and it still all fits in a box or container like this this is a picnic bag that I got from Tupperware. So there's lots of different bags out there that you could use as long as you have the ability to keep something cool for the dairy, you'd be fine. So the wrapping up of this is your goals are to show appreciation so that you become that Tupperware person for that people. That's goal number one. Goal number two is for people to fall in love with this and want to share it with their friends, i.e. a coffee tasting party. Goal three, this is a really easy way for people to make money during the day, especially if you are not having a normal traditional nine to five job. Because like Amber, I know you, you don't have a traditional nine to five job. So when your kids go off to school, you have the ability to set up these appointments and a stay-at-home mom could then go do these appointments, show appreciation, show gratitude to the people that she is serving, and turn around and walk away with $300 if she did three of them in one week, if you think about it. So that's the kinds of things for you to really keep track of because if you have the flexibility of being able to do that or even if you have a day off during the week you could set it up for that day off you could do bang 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 you could do three of them in one day because they only take an hour you could do one at 10 you could do one at noon you could do one at one or two o'clock depending on how far apart people are and I'm sure Marla with your hours you could do some after if you really wanted to yeah. It doesn't have to be about if you drink coffee. It has to be about if the company that you're working with does. And 86% of people do drink coffee. If they don't drink it straight up, they drink it with all this goop in it. I mean, if they didn't, we wouldn't have a Starbucks and a caribou on every single corner, right? So think about this as one of the ways for you to get in the door and focus on gratitude. Because what I have learned is when you focus on gratitude, things come back to you. And it really, really does make a difference. And if you go in with the mindset that, yes, it would be great if I had some sales, but really I'm here to serve the police officers that are serving the community or the teachers that are teaching in my school, that is just as powerful. And it will turn into, oh yeah, Linda is my only Tupperware lady. There's absolutely no other person that I would ever think of, even if they lived in the same community. So, there you go.